Please allow me to provide an update in regards to arrests made by MPD related to unrest. There were 68 individuals arrested yesterday evening and into, in, into the early morning hours of January 7th. Of the 68 arrests, 60 were adult males and 8 were adult females. 41 of those arrests occurred on U.S. Capitol grounds, and to my knowledge, only one of the arrestees is from the District of Columbia. I just want to underscore that only one of the arrestees was from the District of Columbia. However, we still have a significant amount of work ahead of us to identify and hold each and every one of the violent mob accountable for their actions. We have collected numerous images of persons of interest that we are asking the community to help us identify. These images depict individuals engaged in various acts of violence or property destruction, and we have made these images available on our website and social media platforms. We shared these, Im these images last night uh, with the DC bids, the hotel associations, and other community partners, along with the FBI. We also have shared these images with the, with the regional airport authorities. Uh, as we speak, we have members of the Metropolitan Police Department that are scouring the area hotels, businesses, et cetera, uh, trying to identify some of these individuals that still may be uh, taking up residence in our, within our city. The FBI, we're working closely with them to aggressively pursue those responsible for these shameful and violent acts. You can help by taking a moment to view them and provide us with assistance. Again, they have been publicly released on our website. Anyone with information on their identities or whereabouts is encouraged to reach out to MPD at 202-727-9099 or text us at 50411. Information can be provided anonymously. In addition to what I've already mentioned, uh, we will also be sending these images out across the country to the, re to the FBI offices in every state. We have authorized a reward of up to $1,000 for information that leads to the arrest and conviction of persons responsible. And I should add that we already are receiving information and tips in, valuable tips in from residents and people who, are, who have identified some of these individuals. We will continue to assist the United States Capitol Police with security without compromising the quality and professional police service to our district neighborhoods. Residents and visitors should continue to expect traffic disruptions and a large law enforcement presence in and around the National Mall and U.S. Capitol. Now, I would like to take this opportunity to provide the identities of the persons that lost their lives yesterday. As I mentioned late yesterday, the Metropolitan Police Department is handling the investigation of the U.S. Capitol Police officer involved shooting that occurred in the House lobby area. The decedent in that shooting has been identified as 35-year-old Ashley Pemeton, Ashley, also known as Ashley Babbitt of Huntington, Maryland. This remains an active MPD investigation. There were three additional deaths that occurred, which we believe all to be the results of medical emergencies. The decedents have been identified as 50-year-old Benjamin Phillips of Ringtown, Pennsylvania, 55-year-old Kevin Greeson of Athens, Alabama, and 34-year-old Roseanne Boylan of Kennesaw, Georgia. Lastly, I would like to thank all of D.C. and our neighboring jurisdictions in Virginia for, in Maryland for adhering to the mayor's and the governor's curfew orders. And now I can turn it over to uh, Secretary McCarthy. Thank you, Chief Conti, Mayor Bowser. Um, yesterday was a horrible and shameful day in our history. But one thing we did see was incredible leadership by Mayor Bowser and Chief Conti and saw the best of this city. Uh, when they called us over at the Pentagon, uh, we started getting awareness uh, yesterday afternoon about the breach within the Capitol and quickly um, worked uh, to support, move the, our, our resources forward to, in, uh, in support of Metro PD and the Capitol Police and responded and truly saw some incredibly heroic things from the Metro PD and, and our DC Guardsmen, very proud of those men and women. Um, at present, there are the entire DC National Guard has been mobilized. We have also received the support from the state of Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Delaware, and New York. There will be 6,200 Guardsmen in total by the weekend here at the U.S. Uh, and the, and the U.S. Uh, National Capital Region in support 
of the DC, uh, DC Metropolitan Police Department as well as the Capitol uh, Hill Police. At present, we have uh, over 150 personnel uh, up on the, um, the Capitol grounds, and we will have 850 on the Capitol grounds by noon today. At 9 a.m. this morning, we began erecting a seven-foot non-scalable fence, which will be from Constitution to Independence and First Avenue uh, to the uh, in front of the pond right there in front of the Capitol, that, that road right there. So um, these personnel and this security measures will be in place for no less than the next 30 days. And uh, we'll be keeping all of these um, support mechanisms in place and in co constant coordination with the Capitol Police and the mayor's office. Thank you. Thank you.